Now, often people get nostalgic for the year just past when the new year is upon us, but that's not so much the case this year. Not many people are going to miss 2020. So what can we bring into the new year as we leave behind, happily leave behind the old? You know, we're also the Shabbat uh, closing the book of Breshit, finishing the book of Genesis again. And as it closes, there's wisdom for us in our time. As the brothers and Joseph have their final reconciliation, there is still mistrust after decades Decades after all the bad blood between them, there's clearly still mistrust. And there's need to forgive anew and reassure anew, because people often need reassurance. But ultimately, even though there's hard times ahead for them, there will never be the kind of divisiveness that exists in the past, meaning that having struggled together, they've become stronger as a group and are able to move forward together because they've gone through hard times together. And it is my hope and prayer that the hard times of the past year will give us some level of strength for the year to come. That's what the Torah teaches. Not that things will always be okay. They won't always be okay. But we can use our hard-won wisdom even though we'd wish that we wouldn't have had to win it. And use that for a future that will bring us close to redemption. Have a good New Year and Shabbat Shalom.